Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I found this on the porch. Sumatran rat monkey? Is this a joke? I didn't order this, that's for sure. We're running a little behind, so I guess just set it over there and I'll take a look when we're done shooting. All right. Oh, he bit me! of food and horror movies, the first thing that comes to mind is Freddy Krueger's Soul Pizza from A Nightmare on Elm Street 4. But since I've already covered how to make that, I'm going to move on to the next thing that comes to mind, the cringe-inducing custard scene from Dead Alive. My Dead Alive white chocolate strawberry custard, garnished with an ear of course, looks unnervingly close to the custard used in the film and it's a bit unsettling to look at before taking a bite. I'll admit I got a little squeamish while testing out this recipe, and you might too, but after tasting one spoonful of this white chocolate strawberry custard, you'll get over it. To get this and other ghoulishly good horror-themed recipes, check out thehomicidalhomemaker.com. First, we're going to make our strawberry sauce. You'll need two cups of fresh or frozen strawberries, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and one third a cup of granulated sugar. Start by combining your strawberries, lemon juice, and sugar in a saucepan over medium heat. Stir occasionally while mashing the berries with your spoon. Continue stirring until the strawberries have softened, then add in your cornstarch while stirring quickly. Turn the heat up to medium high and continue to cook until the sauce has thickened. Then press through a fine mesh strainer to remove any pulp. Allow it to cool. While our strawberry sauce is cooling, we'll make our white chocolate custard. You'll need one half cup of granulated sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, three egg yolks, three cups of milk, one stick of salted cold butter, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one cup of white chocolate chips. Start by whisking together your sugar and cornstarch in a saucepan. Turn the heat to medium high and add in the milk and egg yolks. Whisk constantly for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once the mixture has started to thicken and bubble, remove it from the heat. Then add in your white chocolate, vanilla, and cold butter. Stir until completely melted. Pour the mixture into individual serving dishes. Allow to cool slightly and then cover each dish with a piece of plastic wrap to prevent a skin from forming onto the top. Make sure the plastic wrap is actually covering the surface of the custard. Then refrigerate for about two to four hours. To make the ear garnish, simply spoon melted chocolate into an ear mold. I got this particular mold from Cybertrade. For my chocolate, I used a combination of white and orange candy melts with a little milk chocolate mixed in. Just simply pour into the molds and refrigerate until firm. Alternatively, you can also shortcut this step by using severed gummy ears. After unmolding, use a dab of melted chocolate to attach a small candy to each earlobe. To serve, add a splash of strawberry sauce to the top of each custard, swirl it around with a spoon, and top with an ear. If you have a cooking question or there's a movie or theme that you'd like to see inspire a recipe, send me an email at ask at the homicidalhomemaker.com.
ask what happened to the last guy who forgot to subscribe to me on YouTube, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so the same thing doesn't happen to you.